All right, here's an update. I've got the new solar tracker installed. Here's the original, Manny. Here's Mo. Two of the panels never arrived. They need to ship them to me. So I didn't have enough voltage for my inverter. So I just laid these two panels. I did a little test. This is a bifacial panel. So I wanted to see, and it does work upside down. I'm getting the full voltage this way and this way. So this is going to be a ground array over here, but I'm missing my panels. So I got to wait until my panels come. And you know what's good about EcoWorthy? Let me tell you, I'm really happy with this company. I sent an email and uh, they knew right away. They're like, yeah, we know two of your panels came in damaged, but I kind of need them now so I can dress this up and finish it up, right? So a couple of challenges I had, and I made a video on how I did all this, which will come out soon once it's done. I mean, it only took me a day to remove the old one. And the old one's base was square. And the new one has a different bolt pattern. So I ended up having to knock off the four outer bolts. I just have four bolts holding it in. And I'll drill down and put a concrete anchor in there. Or I'll put some kind of... Maybe I won't do anything. I think I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to leave it like that. got four half inch long bolts and that's a four three foot pad down there so uh that's a lot of concrete doesn't look like it but it is so that's the update and don't you hate when you're missing pieces right right but it is what it is so let me stand back and show you manny manny was original and then Mo was egregiously put, I put all these panels on if you guys haven't seen them. And it just bent and broke. And But I will say this. This aluminum strut, this is aluminum strut. Featherweight. It's so light. And look how straight it is. I mean, I had all these six solar panels on this strut, on this struts here. And look how, I mean, it's a little bit bent, but not much. Look how straight this is. I'm really surprised on how strong that aluminum channel is. Now you get that at a specialty. Uh, electrical supply house will have that. You can't get that in Home Depot. So again, yeah, these panels are just laying here to get me the right amount of voltage to go into my inverter. Let's go take a look. Oh boy, I figured I'd stop over here before I go inside and show you the, and this one's already starting to give a problem too. And this is the original size array. So I'm gonna get some more grease. This is grease here. It's all grease, give a little bit of grease. But this one just has a pin in it with a cotter pin holding it in. Yeah, look at the cotter pin is coming out. That's all grease, that's why it looks brown. I just greased it up, but yeah, I don't think this one's gonna last too much longer either. Well, that's a drag, but I really like it. It's been two years now, haven't had one issue with, with Manny. Only his younger brother, Mo, gave me issues. In fact, here he is. So, that is the aftermath of that huge array. And this is the base. Ooh. And here we go. I'm on my POW mister. Is it POW mister or POW MR? Can you clarify that, POW mister? I'm going to call you POW mister. Maybe you should have named yourself Mr. Pow. I think that would have been better, Mr. Pow than Pow Mr., right? So let's go check out my inverter. Okay, on uh, Manny, I've got 232, because I've got other solar panels attached to him. And Mo is now 158 volt. Normally Mo is a lot higher, but I have those other panels off. So once I get my ground grid, my ground mount done. I'll work on that after I get this all finished. 
um, that'll help. But I am charging my van off of solar. Of course, there's no solar today because there's no sun. So my batteries were like fully charged. You see there's only three bars there, fully charged this morning. Let's see how much current is coming out of this guy. Oh, this is actually receiving current now. And that, this one is receiving current and this one is removing current. That's got minus 13, minus 13, minus 13. But look at this one. This one's got plus 51 volts. The voltage is the same, but the current is changing. Huh. Now this is 15 cell, 16 cell, 16 cell. So what I was going to do, I'm going to end up just putting all these in parallel. That's all I'm going to do. This, these will come out. I've got, uh, got the cart. Everything is here. And that's the panel. Here's my solar array it's coming in. And the rooftop. All right. Don't judge until I say, I'm done. It's easy to judge though, right? And here we are in beautiful New Jersey on a not so sunny day. It's actually quite cloudy. The weather had said it was going to rain today. So, welcome to beautiful, not so sunny New Jersey. But we're in Huntington County, the New Jersey you never think of when you hear about New Jersey. All right, let's clean up. Okay, guys, thank you for visiting today, and we'll see you very soon. Appreciate you watching.